Hi, I'm William Tenholder, and I welcome you to my Master's 7000 series. It is reserved for spectacular games and endings, and so now you're going to get to see the ending in more than bullet speed, and then we're going to go through the whole game. It, it was really exciting. I mean, a really exciting game. And Reti opening, uh, which I turned into the modern perk check for white. So, yeah, we're going to go through this at good speed. Yeah, that's, you know, the standard that you would use as the perk defense. But you just do a mirror and do it as white. So... It works really well. Not many people know how to play that. Uh, but you definitely want to get that knight into the center. So let's just see. There are a lot of tactics. A lot of tactics in this game. Y you see how the knight went back and forth there. Just testing. Testing the waters. It was a good response by black. And then we went in for the knight sacrifice. So... Really a, a, an exciting, dynamic game that you don't get to see too often at, uh, you know, the Grandmaster level. They're pretty, you know, I would say careful. Sometimes they look like they're playing scared. Um, but, you know, isn't it nice? This was just a beautiful warm-up game for me. And, you know, it's like you, you play like... Okay, win or lose, let's have some fun, right? So let's go through this now. They uh, really uh, put together a beautiful position. And you can see the queens on the same diagonal. It's so dynamic, the, the two knights. So now we kick, try to kick one of the knights out. Uh, but no, that was not going to work. And... So, um, again, we didn't want to give the queen, the black queen, you know, the, my king was in the middle of the board, right? The white king. So, <laughs> you know, you got to be, you do have to be careful there. Uh, so now uh, I got the king into safety. And, uh, you know, the, it's just a wonderful, exciting game, you know? It may be one of the most exciting games I've played in the last year. I had a few good ones, but uh, this was exciting. Look at that. Tack on my queen. So, I move my pawn. Attack on the queen, the black queen, and b7. Wow. Black queen takes. King takes. <laughs> it's exciting. It's really a clever game and uh, so now they got the fork and that I did not see that's I had calculated everything except that so um, I had to well, put my king in the right spot it turned out to be a good spot um, take the knight and now I had to figure out how to win the game I'm getting down on my clock, and I'm bringing in my knight, right? Okay, um, I'm I'm seeing that you know there are some possibilities, some trickery, and uh, yeah, I see the king move over, and I'm thinking, yeah, I see an opportunity there, and uh, yeah, so it turned out. That I did have an opportunity, and uh, the opportunity was because I refused to surrender. Right, I pushed my pawn up, and you know I, you know, verified. Can't really take the pawn, but the fact is, he should have, he or she, should have taken the pawn, because look what happens now. This sets up. A beautiful checkmate. Now, you might look at that and go, 
Oh, King has only one spot to move. Uh, oh, and the bishop is protected by the rook. Checkmate. Wow. What an exciting game. Brilliant finish. So uh, happy to share this with you. And uh, honestly, very proud of this uh, checkmate under these circumstances. I'm William Tenholder, and I love chess.